The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. Lavalley Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Vermonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Additional support for today's coverage is provided by the Lebanon Chamber of Commerce, Barton Insurance Agency, Coldwell Banker, Lifestyles Real Estate, and Top Stitch Embroidery. Welcome back, YCN Game of the Week. Fourth quarter action set to begin. Lebanon Raiders leading the Pelham Pythons 26-24. Jeremy Stout and Andrew Zerhide on the call from Manchester, New Hampshire. So a quarter for the Raiders where I saw them have a two plus minute scoring drought. And then they came alive and took the lead back. Another turnover, Andrew. Not a good way to start this quarter. Yeah, Raiders gun called by traveling a lot tonight. If they can contain that, and I think they could take a lead. And there's a quick lay-in right off a nice pass. Olivia Gagnon gets hers to go. And we have a tie game here, 720 to play. Our next high school, our next YCN high school game of the week will feature the Raider Boys of Lebanon in the Division II semifinal matchup at the University of New Hampshire. That game of the week premieres at 8 p.m. on Thursday night. Check our YCNnow.com website for additional airings. Seven minutes to play. Lebanon taking their time, not able to get anything inside a lot of the night. They've really been slowed down on the offensive side. There's Wainwright, and she gets the mid-range jumper. And Jocelyn Wainwright, nicely done. Lebanon getting a lot of room around the perimeter to shoot. They can get a couple shooters, start knocking down some shots. It's really going to change up Pelham's defensive game plan. Nice D. Inside of Sir Royce, but uh, Sir Royce, even though she was defended nicely, yeah. she has the strength to get it up, and we're tied at 28. Yeah, Sir Royce just unstoppable. And, Defender right in her face, didn't matter. A nice post move, ooh. Anna Wolke goes up into the paint and Sir Royce, big block out of bounds. It'll stay Lebanon basketball. And you wonder if Coach Tim Keogh mentioned that, the fact that they can't get anything in the middle because Pelham is clogging the paint. Mm -hmm. So take some of those 15-foot jumpers, don't settle for the long twos, get some mid-range jumpers. And that's really what's helped this Lebanon team in the second half. Yeah, and Pelham's done such a nice job, like you said, of clogging up the paint. And whenever somebody gets the ball down, though, they all help. Ooh. Three-point attempt off the mark and rebounded for a second. It looked like Sir Royce had it. But she stepped out of bounds or tipped it out of bounds. So go back to Lebanon. 28-28, inside six minutes to play here. Ooh. Almost a five second call and yeah. almost a steal, but Wolke secures it and Lebanon sets their offense up, looking to take the lead. Low scoring affair here, but very, very tight matchup. Nice flash there. Giving it back Ooh. to Wainwright and a nice move by Jocelyn Wainwright, fakes outside, cuts back underneath her defender, and the Raiders have the 30-28 lead. See if the Pythons can answer here. Goes up strong and no good. Rebound by Olivia Gagnon. It's going to be a foul. It'll stay Pelham basketball when we come back. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back, YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zur. I just about five minutes to play here in the game. Three-point attempt is up and good. Lily Schleiman. That might be one of the only threes of the game, if not the only one yeah. for the Pythons. They now lead 31 to 30. Might be the first three-pointer of the game for both teams. Yeah, I think it is, Jeremy. You know, uh, Lebanon, I think, had a few attempts, but for the most part, they're shooting twos, and yeah, big three-pointer. 
that was clearly a double dribble. I yeah. think the refs missed that one. She took two steps, right. stopped her dribble, then got trapped, and then picked it up again, I believe, unless they said it was tipped out of her hands. Yeah, I think, I mean, that's the only explanation for it not being a double dribble is if a Pelham player knocked the ball loose. Ooh. Now a five-second call. This Pelham defense is tightening up. Yep. That is the second time. Well, that's the first five-second, but the second time it's been close. The previous inbounds pass barely got it off as well. So Pelham defense is tightening up on the inbounds as we are inside four and a half to play. Pelham with a 31-30 lead. And Soroyce can't handle that. She's asking for the foul, but they're going to let him play here. Tune in to YCN's outside television in high definition on Comcast HD channel 713 or channel 21 for all the outdoor adventure. Lebanon trailing 31-30. There's Wainwright from the 15-foot free throw line. Doesn't get it to go. Fast break here. Ooh. Little out of control yeah. maybe. Yep. Now Lebanon will have a fast break. They don't really have the numbers. They get it to Wright. 15-footer and Re Rebecca Wright gets it to go. Wow. Full timeout on the floor. Lebanon leads 32 to 31, 354 to play. We'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back, YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, 354 to go. In this one, Division II girls semifinals between the Pelham Pythons and the Lebanon Raiders. Lebanon leading 32-31 in a tightly contested back and forth game. Three point attempt is up, no good. And the breakaway to Rebecca Wright had a step but couldn't convert it. She'll go to the free throw line instead and shoot a pair. Well, I, I like the foul by Schleiman there from Pelham. You know, it wasn't a ton she could do trying to defend a 6-2 fast breaker from, from the Raiders, but Schleiman, nice job of making sure to deny Wright at least of the and one play. So Rebecca Wright go to the free throw line. Lebanon up one. Been shaky from the free throw line. Not uh, exceptionally well. So it's Who's going to make their free throws down the stretch here? Mm. Wright's first one is up, no good. Rebecca Wright. Second free throw is up, and that one's good. So the two-point lead has been secured here for the Raiders. They lead 33-31 inside 320 to play. Ooh. Nice cut there and a nice pass. Number 24, Jillian Schwab. So the answer for the Pythons tied it back up, 33 apiece. We approach three minutes to play in this one. Tight defense. Now it looks like Pelham is extending that defense. Lebanon's made some shots. Now Pelham's kind of moving that defense out towards the perimeter. Anna Wolke with a shot fake and then she'll dribble drive and a defensive effort there by Soroyes. Tips it away. It goes the other way. And then the drive on the other end, number 24, Jillian Schwab. She will get the foul call. And she'll go to the line shooting a pair. I believe they called that one Rebecca Wright. That's only her first foul. And as we mentioned, six fouls for Pelham, only three for the Raiders. Yeah, Wright has done a nice job of he planted playing nice defense all night long. Her 
This one was up and good, and looking to take a two-point lead, and they do. Schwab gets her two free throws, and they have the 35-33 lead. The horn sounded, but no signal for a timeout. I think it just sounded for a <laughs> substitution after the free throw. Maybe the, the free throw shooter was getting substituted. But uh, both teams went to their respective benches. Refs had to say, no, we're, we're still playing here. <laughs> 2.30 to play. 35-33, Lebanon trails. That Pelham defense extended now to the perimeter. And they're still clogging up the paint. So Royce comes away with the steal. Pelham with a chance now to extend that lead. That basket here would be huge. Probably push it to a two possession game. And if you're 11 and you really just want to not foul and not give up a three pointer. Right. You don't have to panic. And it's going to be a timeout. I thought the ref was going to call a five-second call, but he calls the timeout. Pelham wants to talk it over. We'll take a break. 1.53 to play. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back. YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. 1.53 to play here in the Division II girls semifinal matchup between the Lebanon Raiders and the Pelham Pythons. Pelham inbounding the ball inside two minutes. And Zoe Soul, nice defensive effort. And they're going to say Lebanon basketball. Wow. Nice job by Soul. And that's a huge turnover. Raiders need some points. Try to tie this thing up. What a game. Wow, Zoe Soul really getting in there. And that's how you play good defense. And then thrown into the paint to Rebecca Wright. And she's fouled. And Wright will go to the free throw line for the one and one, I believe. That was the seventh team foul. And this is where all those early fouls could come back to haunt the Pythons. As now every foul that is called on the Pythons, the Raiders will be shooting the basketball at least one shot. Rebecca Wright. One for two on her last trip to the free throw line. First one is up and good here. Cutting it to a one point game. So Rebecca Wright trying to duplicate her last shot and it's up and it's good. So Rebecca Wright has been a bright spot here from the free throw line. Ooh. Again, nice defensive effort there by Zoe Soul. And just a little too much body. The ref let her get away with a little bit, but then that last little bump as the ball handler tried to turn the corner, he called. Yeah, you know, Lebanon not in foul trouble, so just their fourth foul the second half. You want to be careful because you know Pelham's going to try and melt the clock down. So you want to be careful not to foul. Yeah. That could have been an offensive foul right there. The Pelham ball oh. handler blew it over. Oh, but a wow. nice, nice box out there by Wright. And she gets the rebound away from Soroyce. And now Lebanon inside a minute to play. All tied up, 35 apiece. Lebanon gets it inside to Wright, oh. and the foul. Jocelyn Wayne, Wainwright to Rebecca Wright. The hard foul underneath. And that's going to be number five on Sarah Ratcliffe. As she walks to the bench, she knows it. That's her fifth foul. She will foul out of this game, and coming in for her is Jillian Schwab. Team foul for Lebanon, but it'll be two shots either way because it was a shooting foul. So Rebecca Wright will have two free throws. Tied up 35-35 inside a minute to play. Rebecca Wright's first one is up mm. in and out. 
<laughs> and she made her last two, missing this one. See what she can do here and maybe, hopefully, for the Raiders, put them in the lead by one. The freshman center. Second one is up, and that one's good. Nothing but net. And a timeout on the floor. So it's going to be a full timeout. Lebanon leads 36 to 35. 53 seconds to go. We'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back. YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. The Lebanon Lady Raiders have just taken the lead over the Pelham Pythons. 36-35. 50 seconds to play here in this Division II girls basketball semifinal matchup. Lebanon Raiders looking to stay undefeated. Pythons looking to Ooh. get to the finals in their first season back in Division II basketball. Pythons content to dribble it out and try and get an open shot. No shot clock, obviously. Nice Ooh. tip there. And a Wolke tips it away. It'll stay Python ball, but one more thing the Pythons have to do. They have to inbound it. They have mm -hmm. to get open. So great defensive effort there by Wolke. Get it inside oh. to Owens and tipped oh. away. And it's stolen. Zoe Soul oh. gets it, but she travels. She jumped on the ball. They're going to say she had the ball and she rolled. I don't know, that was that was a pretty tight, tight call. Yeah, and Coach Kehoe not happy. He thinks he called the timeout. Right when she had it, yes. Right. So inbounds for the Pythons along the sideline and right in front of their bench, a full timeout on the floor. Oof. Wow, we've got an exciting <laughs> one here and we'll keep it right here for this full timeout. 19.1 seconds to play. Lebanon leading 36 to 35 and uh, Pelham will draw something up in the huddle. Full timeout. Oh, and they have three timeouts left, so they're not really in danger of, you know, a five-second call. They can call, they can call timeout uh, or if they're trapped in the corner. So right. Lebanon also, they have two timeouts. If they get a look that they don't like, they can take one as well. So reset here, Andrew. What does Pelham do here? They've been having some success getting inside of Saroy's. Yeah. But the problem with that is, if she's not open and they can't get it into her, they haven't really, they don't have a strong shooter right. who has a lot of confidence because they haven't shot too much tonight. Yeah, when they've tried to give, give it to Sorois and uh, you know she's covered, she's completely, completely defended and they don't really have a plan B, you know, they kind of panic, keep passing the ball around. But obviously if Sorois has any kind of space, you gotta give it to her. I trust her with the ball the most if I'm Pelham. So inbounding it in front of the bench will be Lily Schleiman. 19.1 seconds to go. Buckle up here. Schleiman has to get it in the backcourt to Olivia Gagnon, and she's guarded by number three, Madeline Hastings. Great defense there. They get it over to 24, Jillian Schwab, and then over back to Gagnon, who goes up and defended nicely by Wolke, but... Wow. It's tipped away. They say Wolke tipped it. Whew. Good defensive effort there by Wolke. Just going to have a reset here. No timeout. Just making sure Coach Kehoe is on the sideline. So inbounds underneath their own hoop. Julius Schwab will inbound. 5.6 6 seconds to go here. They inbound it and immediately foul. On the floor. But I believe it's on the floor. Ooh. The ref was waving it off. Immediately fouled. <laughs> and that is a very smart foul. Yeah. She could see. Definitely. I believe it was number four who was fouled. She could see Ava Owens wide open. And if she waited a split second longer, Ava Owens was going to the free throw line. Mm -hmm. You have plenty of foul. At that point, you had uh, basically two fouls to give. So no, no harm, no foul, really. Right. Uh, but... 4.7 seconds to go. Mm -hmm. Coach Kehoe is in the, in the huddle now. You still have a foul to give before they go to the free throw line. Are you? How are you telling your team to use it, or are you just not letting that enter their minds? Because if you use it too late, 
and they're right. in the act of shooting, right. then it's a real big problem. Uh, you know, to me, I think you just got to try to play great defense. You know, if there's a play like that where someone is going to the basket, foul them as quickly as possible. But, you know, I, I could see the Raiders trying to foul and in the act of shooting, fouling a python and try and letting them just right. win the game from the free throw line. And, uh, you know, it's a really tough call. Four and a half seconds left. Oh, man. And, and the Pythons haven't shot too many free throws. They only shot right. two in the first half. Yeah. Uh, the Raiders obviously not in foul trouble in either half. Uh, so inbounding is Schwab underneath her own hoop. Ooh, here we go. And 4.7 seconds to go. Schwab looking. She finds someone in the corner. The three-pointer is oh. off the mark. A long rebound, and it goes away. And that's the buzzer. The Lebanon Raiders. Wow have won and they are triumphant here in Manchester, New Hampshire. <laughs> what a scramble. Uh. Schwab finds Olivia Gagnon in the corner. A good look from the corner for three. I would imagine just how Coach Bob Shepard drew it up. <laughs> and then the shot was off the mark and the long rebound just not enough time to get the rebound and put it back up. So, wow, what a game, Andrew. Excitement all around. The Lebanon Lady Raiders continue on their path to the championship. They'll play for an undefeated season on Friday. Yeah, what a game. I mean, really, just one point victory, 36 to 35. Unbelievable finish. Really, the Raiders playing superb defense when it mattered the most. And man, you know, you got to credit Becky Wright knocking down a multiple key free throws to take the lead. Oh, what a game. Exciting game. Box score. We got some outstanding players on both teams. So, yeah, Jeremy, and for the Pelham Pythons, let's talk about leading scorers. Sir Royce led her team with 16 points. She also pulled down six rebounds. She had four blocks. She was huge for the Pythons. And in terms of the Raiders, Rebecca Wright led her team with, with 16 points as well. And I think now's a good time to announce our HR Club Kearsar cheating, turning up the heat player of the game. Got to give it to Becky Wright. You know, those 16 points. She also had four rebounds. She was great, only had one foul, only two turnovers for a big, that's very good. And she knocked down multiple huge free throws to give her team the lead. So she's my player of the game. And uh, let's talk also about our Salt Hill Pub defensive play of the game. And I think we have to give it to, uh, let's see, a Zoe Soul at the end of the game. She made a huge steal to give Lebanon back the ball. And I believe at that point, so the tie game, and that gave, uh, gave Lebanon an opportunity to come back in this one and take the lead. So Zoe Soul with that steal is my Salt Hill Pub defensive play of the game. Yeah, so an exciting one here. As we mentioned, Lebanon continuing their undefeated season now 19-0. They'll go to play in the championship game, which will be an exciting matchup against Hollis Brookline coming up later in the week. So the final score here for the final time, Lebanon wins it 36-35. to Thanks to Greg and Alex. For Andrew Zerheide, I'm Jeremy Stout. Thanks for watching the YCN Game of the Week. The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. LaValle Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Vermonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Additional support for today's coverage is provided by the Lebanon Chamber of Commerce, Barton Insurance Agency, Coldwell Banker, Lifestyles Real Estate, and top stitch embroidery.